well, you can't. They wouldn't be able to come back from a two nil um, down against Liverpool. I'm sure because we all know how good they are. Liverpool um, going forward, they've been excellent. For me, no Salah. Salah's well, well, on fire. They, they got to they got to sign him up as quick as they can. If, if you know, I'm sure the agent is working behind the scenes, and his his uh, client is doing it for him because he he's in a really good position now after the way he's playing. And the goals that, he's scoring. Ronaldo will be seeing himself. So I'll be the star. Oh the yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they've you got, know, that, that's where they've got well beaters, and it's all about taking your chances, Al, in mm. big games like this. But it should be a cracking game. I mean, Man United Liverpool, the rivalry is is there and there. But we talk about up at, uh, El Clasico this weekend as well. But that's not the same now, is it? Where would you rather watch? Barcelona v Real Madrid or Liverpool v Manchester United? It's got it's, it's only one winner there, surely. Yeah. It's got to be Liverpool Man- Manchester well, United. Yeah, for I, me. I still have respect well, for the two Spanish When Aldo Messi leaving, it's not the same, I don't think, as, no, as, as no. much as it was a few and, and years back. And the way Liverpool are playing at the moment with Salah, you know, fantastic. But um, it's Good an win away from home, one, you know, Can United defend that poorly again against Liverpool? Because Liverpool will rip them apart. But... It's a massive game, and it, and you'd expect like in Chelsea. Form now, Liverpool got a better form, but form goes out the window. Yeah, this sort you of expect games. Chelsea to thump Norwich, wouldn't you? Stamford Bridge, no Lukaku. By the way, we'll talk about that later. So it's a, probably a game that Liverpool look and say, "No, we don't want to draw. We we, we should." Oh, win they'll this. be going for a win all day long. I mean, I don't think Jurgen Klopp ever sets up to go for a draw. Uh, here be game right come on lads we're, we're banging form at the moment let's go out there intensity is very important let's get out their, their defence um, and, and try and get that first goal and that could be the difference but Manchester United you know they've got, they got match winners as well on their side I think so, Bruno, I, that's why it's set up very very yeah, I nicely I think Fernandes may be struggling so it could be a way back for Pogba yeah absolutely and you know we, we know he can play in big games he's played in World Cup finals and played well and so he could turn up and suddenly be the difference so I think it's a very intriguing game to watch I've gone for. Um, I think I've gone for Liverpool win. I think. Have I've, you? Yeah, I think I have. Remember we spoke last week. We, we spoke about first goal and we talked about Firmino. He's, he's done it again away from trick. home, hasn't he? He got a hat trick out. Used used bang on there. Away he? from home, he just, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with him at Anfield. He just. Away from home, he seems to have more freedom. Well, that gives him massive confidence, wouldn't it? Scoring a hat trick. I mean, anybody scores a hat trick, whether you're striker, midfielder, or whatever, you get you get a big, huge. Um, you know, lift from that so I think he'll be going on they've got good good uh, strength in so depth United to beat Liverpool then Ray um, they've got to compete in midfield for me uh, but at the back they've got to be solid they've got to they be solid can't be, they can't be yeah. um, I think it was Gabby was talking about how exposed they were when they go forward they throw everyone forward and leave a the lot two more attackers. Backs exposed. a lot more attackers they can't do that against Liverpool no because the pace they've got Mane and Salah and Jota well, I know he was on the bench in the last game against Watford or Firmino whether he starts so they've got options there and if they do that and they throw too many bodies forward you've just got to have the balance haven't you the right balance is I when thought, you I thought Rashford looked sharp so he's you know he's had his, his, his injury problems he's over that now or Greenwood who would, so how many how many United players do you think would get in that Liverpool side now not not when they're playing full potential I'm talking now um, well you've got to say Ronaldo would probably start up top wouldn't he um, I should imagine then you'll look at uh, well the centre half pairing I think one of the centre half if, if Maguire was fit I would play Maguire and Van Dijk I should imagine um, who else would play you wouldn't touch the full backs would you mm, Liverpool well, Luke Shaw's done he's, he's really improved yeah, and he had a good, think, good, good uh, uh, Euros but you look at Robertson I think he's got to stay in definitely Trent, Trent's got to stay at right back midfield midfield um, you couldn't really have would you have Fred in front of anyone probably not uh, McTominay I'm I like McTominay about, I'm top of Liverpool I'm not trying now <laughs> sorry Fred <laughs> sorry Uncle Fred but so no, you, you, no. I he's, think not, he's not a top United player I think the me. depth is too good for Liverpool as well I mean Henderson they, they can pick and choose the midfielders there as well so I think it'd be hard to get to get players Mc, from McTominay, Manchester United would he, would he do, I like McTominay I he, think he's yeah I was going to say could he slip in there would Fernandes get in where would Fernandez play? Where would he? Where would well, he? He is a top player. Isn't he? Absolutely, he'd but probably be he another one. In? That'd be another one who you could maybe try and get in to that Liverpool side mm. uh, and make a difference. But you, you've got to have Ronaldo, I imagine Fernandez. I would have Maguire as one of the centre. You've not mentioned Pogba. Um, I think the, the way they play Liverpool, they're very efficient. They're very quick getting the ball, and I think he slows it down at times. I think it, it's all about intensity. Does he work hard enough as well? I like I, that's why I like Jordan Henderson in there because when he wins the ball, back, well, it's is, a quick is, pass forward. I mean, a, a ten minute. He don't he don't have too many touches on it. Can, One touch, get out his feet, boff, and it's it's a fifteen yard pass forward. Would McTominay be a young Jordan? 
Um, I, if he can keep improving the way he is, Al, I think he's got a, a really good future in front of him. I, I like him. I think he's improved a lot. If he can keep going the way he is now, I think he could be a, a, a real top player. I really do. And not just for, obviously, Manchester United, for Scotland as well. He's a, he'd be a massive player for Scotland going forward. Uh, if you're going to try and get in uh, World Cups and... You've got to have players like him, Robertson, uh, Tierney, uh, Arsenal. You know that's the future for Scotland yeah. as well. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil, Thursday and Friday morning, six till ten on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.